Yes, there is going to be a Superman game. Or at least I want there to be a Superman game. What's up guys? So basically what I'm talking about is if you don't know, so there have been a lot of rumors and a lot of <clears throat> talk about what Rocksteady's been doing. And a lot of people have been saying, oh, they're working on a Superman game. Or, oh, they're probably doing something involving Justice League or something. Uh, so I've been hearing from a lot of people, a lot of different rumors, and I figured I would not only tell you guys what I've heard, but also maybe throw in my two cents of what I would do with the Superman game uh, and go from there. So let's get let's get into this. So so apparently this was taken off some type of form or something or some type of a post online. So obviously people would tell you to take this with a grain of salt, uh, even though I hate that word because it's 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 one of, it kind of brings your hopes down. You know, it's like I like Superman. Obviously, look at me, I'm pimped out with Superman right now. Um, except my hat's not on, and I can't grab my hat because it's under my laptop. Um, so, I love Superman. Uh, I have, I have some Superman games. I have the animated series Superman game, uh, that was on the PS2. I have one of them, it was pretty good. Um, and then I have the Superman Returns game, uh, for the 360, which is, it's okay, but again, it's, it's, the problem with all those games is he's so overpowered, he's so OP, he's such a very powerful character. And it's the difficulty of how do you make the most OP character actually not only fun to play, fun to fly around the city, but also make it interesting and engaging enough to keep you playing to make you actually you know maybe care about what's going on in the city to maybe actually you know i don't know like make you feel like you've earned your right to be superman and stuff in the game uh so again it's one of those things where it's like you gotta do it in a way where it works uh and with rocksteady because rocksteady i remember people I, you know there were a lot of people talking about it it's like they, you know, their dream, I think, is to make a Superman game. Uh, and if these rumors are true, then I really hope that these uh, little notes here that I wrote down from this form or whatever uh, will be true. Okay, so let's get into this. <clears throat> so in this game, this this game that's not confirmed and has not been shown yet and maybe won't be shown, um, but, so here it is, Superman is toned down, power level, right, let me explain, so, remember the animated series, remember that show, that amazing show, I actually love that show, uh, that was actually, not my first introduction to Superman, I don't think, but it was, like, my, like, one of the things that made me start liking Superman and was a st stepping stones for me to start liking the character. Because when I was younger, I preferred Batman, obviously. But as I got older, I preferred more of uh, a hopeful character. And that's why I looked more towards Superman now than I look to Batman. Um, but, you know, that's just me. So, yes, Superman will be a little powered down in this. Kind of like in the animated series. Now, you will be able to upgrade yourself, I'm, I'm sure, um, because that was probably one of my biggest issues with Superman games, is that you're OP, you don't really need to upgrade yourself, so it's kind of hard to do something like that. Uh, I am hoping that you do kind of feel OP if you're maxed out at the end of the game, hopefully, because I think, you know, it's good to you know, build up like a learning curve, like you're learning how to use powers, learning how to control your power, stuff like that. So I don't know, that I'm, that's just me now throwing ideas out there. But again, it, it's, it's, it's really hard to do this type of game. 
because it's like, how do you do it? And it's like, I think Rocksteady has the answer if they are doing this. Uh, and I hope they are. I really hope they are because I would, I would, this, this would be amazing. Like, I have no doubt that this would be amazing if they did it. Uh, but anyway, let's keep going with the list here. So the map would be three times the size of Arkham Knight. So, yes, uh, Metropolis, because obviously that's a city, uh, and three times. So the Arkham Knight map times that by three, there's your map, pretty much. Uh, pretty big, pretty decently big. I like that. Um, I feel like this, the one in Superman Returns is probably going to be the biggest one still. Uh, this probably won't be too big. Uh if this is official, but I think it's okay because it's like, hey, it's going to be new graphics engine and stuff like that. So, you know, do what you got to do <clears throat> to make it work. Um, but that's big enough. That's big enough, I think. So let's talk about the main villain. Uh, they did say what the main villain would be. The main villain would be Brainiac, uh, reported in this post. So my thoughts on this is... Okay, but the problem is is that we're going to be fighting robots then. And you know how it is with robots. They're very boring. They're very dumb. They're not interesting. They're not innovative. They're not exciting. They're very bland, boring, and calculated. So, I don't know. It's one of those things where it's like, okay, you got robots. What do they do? Do they attack civilians? Do they have kryptonite? Do they have certain things like maybe magic? Like maybe some of them have magic or some of them have like kryptonite or something. I don't know. I'm just throwing ideas out there because you can't have all the robots be the same. You got to actually have them be different. You got to have them actually be, you know, um, interesting. So, I don't know, maybe some cool robot bosses, maybe Meta maybe like other villains like Metallo, or I don't know, like, um, obviously you gotta have Lex Luthor in there, uh, probably not Doomsday, you guys remember that, um, that post leak that went online about the, uh, original, this original game, I guess. I don't remember who was making it at the time, but uh, basically we got footage of Superman fighting Doomsday or like punching through walls, got like these quick time events and stuff like that. Uh, as far as quick time events goes, um, I'd be okay with it if they can make it work. Um, but uh, sadly, that, that game with the pre-footage I was just talking about never was officially done and made. Uh, so it got canceled, I'm assuming, and that would, that kind of sucks because that looked it looked great. It actually looked very classy, looked classy Superman, classy Doomsday look. It looked great, um, but Doomsday probably not put Doomsday in here. I feel like that's a little too much. Um, maybe something a little little down. Um, not Mongol. I don't want to do Mongol. <sighs> that's because because we have Brainiac. So probably stick to some characters. Maybe like Parasite. Or, I don't know, just more like the Earth characters. Maybe Livewire. Livewire is kind of cool. Um, I don't know. Just, just, if we're doing Brainiac, don't do any outside world villains like Doomsday or Mongol or anybody like that. Try to keep it contained with like Parasite, Livewire, or Lex Luthor or whatever you gotta do if you're gonna do other types of villains in this game. Uh, if it's not linear, that is, obviously it's going to be open world because, you know, you want to fly around and stuff like that. So it has to be open world. So you have to have other things to do, uh, which why I would say like kind of like Arkham Knight, where you could do other side missions and stuff like that. Uh, maybe that would be one way of doing it. <clears throat> but um, but as the main villain, Brainiac, sure, I think he can be a, a, a good villain. Um for the first game, I think that works. Um, now, moving on, let's move on from that. So, it, it continues and it says, you can't play as Clark Kent. It, they were, that it said, you can't play as Clark Kent in this game, apparently. 
which is fine because maybe if this is real and maybe we get a sequel, maybe it can kind of be like the Spider-Man 2 to a Superman game where, hey, you're, you get to have sections where you can go on the Daily Planet and you can talk to Lois or you can talk to um, Jimmy or, you know, whatever. Like, you can have stuff like that. That would be kind of cool. Um, you know, like in a sequel, if they really want to do it, if it, if they really do it and it does well, we'll see. But, um, yeah, that, that, that's kind of a little disappointing, but at the same time, it's like, you know, that's what Batman Arkham Knight did, or Arkham Asylum. Well, Batman Arkham Knight did that too, actually. Um, so did pretty much all the Batman games, honestly. Like, you didn't really get to play as Bruce Wayne. Uh, there were sections where you played as Bruce Wayne in Arkham games, but you didn't really have, like... You couldn't, like, just switch whenever the hell you wanted. If you do a Superman game, I want phone booths. <laughs> just maybe, okay, fine. Don't have, like, you know, millions of phone booths, but maybe have, like, one cinematic scene or cutscene or moment in the game or something where he just runs to a phone booth and changes. I don't know. I think that'd be cool. Maybe that'd be, like, the first level or something. That'd be nice. I don't know. Um, maybe I'm asking for too much, but, um, but, you know, I I'm not too bummed out about not being able to play as Clark Kent, you know, that's what cutscenes are for, uh, so I think it's, it's okay for now, it's okay, I'm not, no, no big deal. So, moving on, uh, semi-destruction in the city, so, so, y you're powerful, so, and you're fighting f robots, or whatever you'll be else you'll be fighting in this game so yeah you're gonna be punching shit into shit right so i'm gonna punch this guy and at least maybe he won't go through the building but that building is gonna get damaged there's gonna be some serious financial issues <laughs> breaking that building sorry sir like but you know it's cool that if there is going to be some semi-destruction in the city, obviously, because, you know, it's it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I'm super powerful, and if I'm punching things, they're going to get knocked back in the shit. So I expect cars to be flipping, explosions and shit, and destruction of buildings and stuff. So so I expect that. Uh, so it's, it's good to hear that there is going to be a little bit of destruction. Probably not like whatever you want. It might be a little bit more like Arkham Knight where it's like, you know, kind of controlled, meaning like during certain sections, you know, so you know what I mean? So it won't be like, I can destroy this fucking bridge and it'll stay broken forever unless... I'm saying, like, maybe during a cutscene or something, or whatever, then it would stay broken, or whatever. That's what I mean. That's what I mean when I say that. Uh, let's talk about the combat system. So, they did go in detail, this person did go in detail about the combat system, uh, which they said was very similar to Dragon, like a Dragon Ball Z game, uh, I've never played none of the Dragon Ball Z games, sorry. I don't really know much about that stuff. I'm not a huge Dragon Ball guy. Um, uh, I, you know, I have been tempted to buy the latest game, the fighting game, but it's like, eh, you know. But the combat system. So some they said the combat system would be a lot of uh, flying and punching, punching and flying. So... That sounds cool. I can't really imagine it, honestly. I can kind of imagine it. But um, I think one of the, my biggest problems with Superman Returns and a lot of other Superman games is, yeah, you can fly. So it's like, why can't I like swoop in, like hit the guy and maybe like grab him and like pull him up? like, in the sky, and then just start doing, like, air combos, like, that'd be kind of cool, kind of like a little bit, like, Dragon Ball Z style, where you can just, like, fly toward them and start punching them and stuff, that kind of sounds cool, uh, I like what I'm hearing, so, uh, as far as a combat system, yes, I expect there to be moments where I'm flying, I can grab, grab, a, like, I'm gonna just say robot, 
you can grab like a robot and I can throw him in the air, I can punch him, or I can just like maybe like freeze him and then punch him, or like I can freeze him and then like laser beam him, or I can just like grab him, like laser beam half of him off. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm getting a little too overexcited about it, but um, but th this this makes me happy and excited. Okay, so the final thing is expect an announcement before E3. So this is what I this is why I got excited because <clears throat> I can see that. I can see, you know, a little teaser and then like the logo or whatever and then like wait for E3 or whatever. So if this happens within the next couple weeks, I will be very happy, guys. I will be very, very happy. And if this is true, if this is true, or not, if it's not true, if it doesn't happen, that then too bad, uh, you know, maybe next year. But if E3 passes and, you know, let's say they didn't, they didn't announce a Superman game. I have decided that I will review Superman 1, 2, 3, and 4, Returns, and Man of Steel. If they actually announce the trailer, I will be doing a video on that, and then I will be doing my review before E3 on the first Superman movie review. So... That'll be the deadline. Just that's kind of what my plan is. So we'll see. Um, but you know, this this would be really cool. I really hope this is real because um, you know, I feel like I've been talking a lot about Spider Man here on the channel, and it's it's kind of actually it's kind of makes me feel good now to talk about Superman and stuff because you know, to be honest, still Superman is kind of one of those characters for me where. He's still so new to me, meaning like I'm like I'm getting into the lore of him still. Like I'm still like actually digging into the character still. I mean, I understand him like majority of you know who he is and his character and all that. But I mean, like you know, more in depth with some of the things and maybe some stuff he can do and stuff like that. Like I know he had a recent power. We can do the solar flare. Obviously, in a video game, I don't expect him to be that overpowered because guess what? Uh, the solar flare was not a good idea because he doesn't have powers for an entire day, which is kind of a bummer, but, you know, it's it's one and done. Um, but, but uh, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys think about these details, and do you guys have any ideas maybe to throw in there, or, like, maybe your own version of how you do a Superman game, or, you know, let me know. Let me know in the comments, and until then, guys... I'll see you guys in another Superman video, hopefully. And until then, guys, I'm out of here. Up, up, and away. See you guys.